This interactive activity can be found at www.visnos.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about the Number Explorer. Now, Visnos stands for Visual Numbers, and I think this activity really um, fulfills that criteria because what he's showing visually is how to do lots of different things such as division and showing square numbers, triangular numbers, but it's all visually seen on the screen so the children can get an idea of what these concepts really are. So when you launch the activity, we're starting off in manual mode and we're showing a division. So let's look at this control first. So I can change what's being divided by moving here, these um, using this up or down arrow. So if I want to divide 36 by two, click the button and 36 is divided by two and we see the calculation updates down here. So we can see the division is because of how many columns there are. So for example, if I do three, you'll see there's now three columns and the fish move in to fill those columns. If I do four, four columns, let's do five. Now this one's not a perfect um, division. We have one fish left over. And this is reflected here by showing remainder one. You can also display a fraction. So it's seven and one fifth. And you can see where the fifth comes from because of this uh, divisor. And you could show a decimal, 7.2, or display as a product, showing that 36 can be made by five times seven plus one. So let's go back to fraction. So this is visually showing you a division. Um, what else can you do? We can do a triangular number by clicking like that. And you can see that 36 is indeed a triangular number. In fact, you can also show that 36 is a square number, which is unique because it's both square and triangular. Uh, you can also just press move and the fish will swim around happily about the screen. If you click stop, the fish will move to be spaced out roughly equally around the screen. So as a basic uh, way to use this, you could actually use it for both counting and estimation. So what we'll do is we'll click move and we'll click this dice. Now the dice stands for a random total. I can hide this total so you don't actually see it being updated. So when I click that, some of the fish now have left the screen and you could get the children to either estimate or count how many fish are on the screen. We'll stop them there so it's a bit easier. Okay, so when you click stop again as well, they'll move to a different part of the screen. And that's an important concept right there, the, the conservation of number. That is, the actual positions of the fish doesn't matter, it's how many there are. Okay, so let's click that dice again. And try again. So there you have, you could estimate how many fish there are there. We can show um, numbers on each fish by clicking this button here. And then let's arrange them. Okay, so that's with the numbered fish. You can also hide these dimensions that are shown at the side here as well. Um, this control here is for changing the shape. So instead of fish, you can show either balls or cards. And the cards move faster than the balls and the fish are the slowest. So there is a slight difference in them as well. Um, I think the cards are actually better if you want to display numbers. And you see they update very fast. Okay, what else have you got then? Uh, we can add a shape to the screen by pressing the plus, or indeed remove a shape by pressing the minus. So this could be done with the triangular number. How many more do you need to make a triangular number? So you'd see one, two, three, four, five, six. So I've clicked that six times. Four, five, oh, I miscounted, it's only five. So there you have a triangular number 91. So that can be used that way or removing by clicking the minus. Um, you can also manually change the total like so. So if I want 70, click to update, and now you have 70. Right, let's pick a smaller number now. Uh, tw <laughs> 24 say and let's look at some of these other controls here so first one to look at is factor pairs so factor pairs looks at all the different factor pairs you can have for a number so in the case of 24 we've got 1 times 24 shown visually 2 times 12 
3 times 8, 4 times 6, and then we're showing this one in black here because it's already been shown as 4 times 6, but also arranged as 6 times 4, 8 times 3, 12 times 2, and 24 times 1. Um, so there you have it. Um, next, we can look at would be prime factors. So for prime factors, we have 24, that's divisible by 2. Two columns, half of the fish, oh, they're not fish, half of them leave. Which gives you 12. What can divide into 12? 2 again. So again, two columns, they, they all leave, leaving you with 6. Next, uh, 2 again. So it does them in order. And then finally, we can divide by 3 to leave us with just one left on its own. Uh, you can also do this automatically if you choose by clicking the auto button. Uh, let's do 10. So if you click auto mode, now it'll go through them very fast. So that's a nice way to display uh, prime factors. Let's go back to the, uh, let's say the balls. And we'll look at division tests. So let's pick a number, I don't know, 30. I've got auto on here, I should have that off. So for division tests, oh, I haven't changed it. Division tests, I wanted 30. Sorry about this. Update. So what it does is we run through all the particular numbers to see if they're divis divisible or not. So for example, 30 is divisible by one, of course. So we can show that, one column. Then we can show is 30 divisible by two. So that's two columns, and it is 15, exactly. Three gives you 10. Four, now in this case, there's two left over. So this gives you our fraction of two quarters, or you could simplify that down to one half. 35 divided by 5, that's a perfect. And there's another one which has a remainder. So you can see that we have um, 4 and then 2 sevenths. So let's go through these quickly. And you see it automatically scrolls up to show all of these. Now at the very end, what happens is we remove all the ones that didn't work out um, properly. So all the ones of fractions will be removed. Nearly done. So let's do that. And as you can see, they fold up. And we can see which of the tests actually worked. So 30 is divisible by 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, and 30. So obviously these are all the factors of 30. Um, Okay, I think that's pretty much everything covered. Okay, so enjoy uh, working with the Number Explorer um, and come back to watch future videos. Thanks for watching.